what's up guys? Uh, so recently, a couple months ago, um, I went to New York for the day with a friend of mine just to spend the day there and do some street photography. I didn't bring my GoPro this time because I kind of wanted to just be in the moment and focus on actually being present and shooting. Um, but I did take some B-roll with my camera and my, my phone and I was actually really happy with the photos that I got from this day so I thought it would be cool to still make a video out of it and uh, put something together. This is going to be my first time doing like a narration with my photos and uh, b-roll and all that stuff so we'll see. So immediately, as soon as we got there, we got off the train at Penn Station and um, we noticed these reflections on one of the tops of the, the subway entrances um, on 7th Avenue and we were just watching it for a little while and I grabbed a couple photos of this just to kind of just kind of get started and get warmed up. this we got coffee which I forgot to film because I'm still getting used to filming things while I'm out um, but after that we went to B&H this is the Leica you buying that? <laughs> I had never been to B&H before, so this was on my list that I wanted to stop in and see it. And the place is insane. It blew my mind. Just like literally anything you could want is in there, including Big Bertha, which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, so there's that. So after seeing B&H and hanging around the reflections for a little bit, we decided to head towards Washington Square Park. Washington. <laughs> God, dude. We headed towards Washington Square Park. Washington Square Park I shot digital for a little while and then I also brought my film camera I had my Canon AE-1 and I brought my first roll of Portra 800 which I was super excited about and I figured New York would be a perfect place to test my first roll Washington Square Park is such an incredible place for photography. There's so many different types of people, ethnicities, everyone's dressed super cool, and there's always just a ton of stuff going on. So this is always a fun spot to spend some time in. It was also super hot, and I made poor choices on both ends to wear all black and also wear a backpack. <laughs> Oh yeah. So we spent a little bit of time in Washington Square Park and then after that headed towards Soho and the Chinatown area. And 
this one is actually probably one of my favorite shots of the day, but as we were leaving Washington Square Park, um, I was gonna get a shot of the, the World Trade Center, and I noticed this guy on this massive bike. These tires were literally like bigger than me, and he was riding towards us. I was just gonna get a shot of him riding towards me with the World Trade Center behind him, but then he reached out his hand really last second, and I didn't know if I had it in the moment, but I was really grateful to have gotten this shot. From Soho, we went into Chinatown. a list of a few spots that I wanted to try to get to to take photos from and there's an iconic view of Chinatown from of course there's an iconic spot from the Manhattan Bridge overlooking Chinatown that I've wanted for a while that I've always seen on Instagram and we started making our way in that direction but we didn't realize how far away we were <laughs> so getting there was a bit of a journey all right, <laughs> how many miles do you think we've walked? Good amount, maybe, maybe three or four miles at this point. Yeah, I, I have my watch on, actually, I can check. Oh, what is this? Bro, are you fucking lying to you? I know. I'm just gonna go on this. We're walking to Manhattan Bridge to get a shot of uh, Chinatown from the bridge, and we're like drenched <laughs> and uh, I, it's gonna be worth it though, it's gonna be sick. I was just recording like this, how stupid. Sweating. <laughs> We're standing here on the corner and it smells like sauce and pennies. <laughs> Alright, we're good. God, now it smells like weed. But we ended up finding it and I'm super happy that we did. Somebody cut a hole in the fence so that you can literally just stick your camera lens through. Whoever did that, thank you, because you are making a lot of people happy. Yeah, and I'm glad we did that because it was worth it. From Manhattan Bridge, we were starving. My friend loves a place in Hell's Kitchen called Toto Ramen. So we Ubered there and had some incredible ramen and pork buns, which I hadn't had before. Leon was like, you have to try these. So that's what we did and it was very worth it. So if you're in the area or if you're going to New York, go to Toto Ramen in Hell's Kitchen specifically and get pork buns because they are incredible. I don't know what the sauce is, but it's, it's something else. So then from there, it was getting close to the time for our train to leave. So we, I don't remember if we walked or Ubered back 
to Panda Station, but we made it back to, we walked. We walked from the ramen place. It's not important. It's not even important. We walked from Penn State. No, we didn't. Where did we walk from? We walked from Toto Ramen to Penn Station to catch our train. While we were walking, just grabbed a handful of shots there. I finished my roll of, I believe it was the Portra roll. To the Portra or Sinistil, I can't remember. Was rolling that one up. station where the Empire State Building was right there lit up saying bye to us it was it was pretty great and then uh, a little cherry on top we made it into the train station we got on our train and realized we were in business class by accident even though we had coach tickets and the guy <laughs> the guy kicked us out so we had to walk towards coach and it was packed the entire train was packed and the guy just told us to move, we couldn't stay there. Which is fine, obviously he's just doing his job. But we couldn't find a seat, so we <laughs> had to stand in the middle where the train literally says don't stand in the vestibule, if that's what it's called. So we were standing there, and that is where the journey ends. So yeah, overall, ended up being a super fun day. This video is a little different for me, since it wasn't a POV but I still wanted to try to tell a little story of the adventure. There is nothing like shooting in New York, um, so this day was a blast. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know, let me down know below, because that's how that works. If you did, let me know down below. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I have more POV videos coming soon, and um, just more videos in general on the channel. Stay safe, stay well, keep creating, Get out and shoot, and I will see you next time. See ya.